fact. Well, you might remember a few months ago, a documentary about the Church of Scientology was postponed from airing in the UK due to an outdated Northern Irish libel law. Well, since this temporary ban, the documentary film called Going Clear has gone on to receive seven Emmy nominations. And after concerns were put to bed about the legality of airing the documentary in the UK, it will actually air tonight on Sky Atlantic at 9pm. It's called Going Clear, Scientology and the Prison of Belief. A belief airs tonight. Well, a man who has been a member of the Church of Scientology, former member, is Pete Griffiths and he joins us now. Pete, let's start, you're welcome, let's start with your own story. You you joined, uh, you, you were in London. Tell us the story. Uh, I was actually in the north of England, Ivan, and hello and thank you for having me on. Let's get that out the way. Um, basically, to put it simply, my brother got involved in it and then my ex-wife got involved in it. So because my family members were doing courses that were to improve their life, it seemed fairly harmless. And I'd read a lot of books and I knew it was a cult. I'd been told all these things. However, when you don't see any immediate harm coming to people that you know and love, it, you know, you, you, your fears are allayed somewhat. So I happily went along and started doing courses too. And they basically changed me into being a Scientologist in, in the space of a very short time. What role did you fulfil for the church? When I was in the Church of Scientology, I was hired initially on a... Uh, well, they lied to get me to work for them. They said I'd earn £200 a week. I actually don't think I earned £200 the entire three years I worked for that particular organization but my job was to get people in so I had to do these stress tests and the personality tests and then try and sell people something and and how do you join uh, usually through the stress test or the personality test they have to have an, an in to you um, and what they do is like these are just basically sales tools it gives them an excuse to talk to you and once they're talking to you, they ask very personal questions like what you consider is ruining your life or what upsets have you had in the past. The aim is to make you feel so bad that you will buy what they have to offer. What's their core belief relative to Christianity? Oh, that's an interesting one. Essentially, they believe that man is an immortal spiritual being that has lived forever and will continue to live forever. However... His godlike powers have, have waned over the years, but if you do Scientology, you can get them back if you pay. What does does Scientology mean? The word itself, there's, there's a lot of different definitions. Like, Hubbard, you know the way people go to yeah, yeah. church and pray? What do you do when you're a Scientologist? Oh, that's an interesting one. Essentially, they just do courses and something that they call um, auditing or processing, where they apply techniques to themselves that are supposed to enhance their spirituality. Whether they do or not, it's very subjective. If you ask any Scientologist how does it actually help them, very often they can't answer that question. Talk to us about the money side. Do you pay a subscription oh, or yes. what way does it work? Uh, every course costs a certain amount of money. Now, your first course, I think, at the moment is pegged somewhere around €90, Euro, which is not very much. And if you want to, say, have some help with your business or, or with your personal relationships, it's not too much to shell that out. But your next course is going to cost a little bit more than that. And eventually it starts getting into the hundreds and then the thousands. And the upper level courses do cost thousands. You can spend up to half a million uh, euro, pounds, quid, whatever, in Scientology uh, with no real benefit. Although they here's the, here's the other thing. When you complete a course, they make you write a success story. That, that, that So that's you saying how the course has improved and how it's of benefit to you. If you don't write the success story, you don't go on to the next course and practically they won't let you out of the room. So again, there's a form of bullying and gangsterism going on here. And But surely some people obtain a benefit. I mean, you're not brainwashed. You were in it for several years. Oh, yeah. Surely you must have got some uh, positive upside to it. Initially, you feel that you are improving, but just to give you a quick example of that, I did the communication course over a weekend, and the purpose of the communication course, obviously, is to help you to communicate. When I went back to work on the Monday, I, I had this kind of feeling of being superior to my workmates because I now had this knowledge that they didn't have. But the irony is that I couldn't communicate to them this idea. So my communication abilities were actually lessened, but it took me a while to see that because I was convinced that they'd improved.
And what about, um, say, other family members or people who are close to you who aren't in the church and want to pull you out of it? Do they do what they can to resist that oh, kind of pressure? Oh, yes, yeah. What, one of the big bones of contention with Scientology that gets mentioned in the movie as well is how they will actually use family members to blackmail you to get to get you to do what they want. Um, my brother was, was involved in Scientology for over 20 years and for a long time he wouldn't even speak to me because he knew I was criticising Scientology. That's another aspect of it. If you criticise Scientology, the links are dropped immediately, the ties are cut, and they're not allowed to speak to you. They're not even allowed to uh, listen to radio shows like this. They are not allowed to watch this documentary that's showing tonight. They're not allowed to read certain books. It, it's censorship in the extreme to maintain the um, status of the organisation. And if you're a member of the Church of Scientology, do you carry on with your everyday job? I mean, uh, presumably you do these courses at night or at the weekends. Yeah. Do you live a normal life otherwise? That's a good question. Um, when you first get involved, yes, you do. The minute you become Scientology staff, that changes. You end up working, you know, 16, 17 hour days. I'll give you an example. My ex-wife and I actually paid a babysitter so that we could go into the Scientology organization and work for nothing. I mean, we, we went for weeks without pay. It's unheard of, but you do it because you think you're doing it for the greater good of mankind. You are convinced that uh, Scientology has all the answers and you would sacrifice a lot because you think you're on the right road. It's a hell of a shock to wake up and discover that you've, you've been conned. And if there's a pyramid at the top, who gets all the money? The, the leader at the moment is a man called David Miscavige. He took over uh, from L. Ron Hubbard, science fiction writer, when he passed away. Um, he, he's the man in charge and he's the man, um, if you watch the documentary tonight, you will hear his, ma his name mentioned. Um, he is, he, he's like the leader, you know, he, he, he's like the cult leader, you know, so. The film is going out uh, Sky Atlantic tonight, 9pm. It's called Going Clear. What can we expect? Well, um, you can expect something wonderful from uh, um, Emmy Award winning documentary. I think it won Best Writer, Best Documentary and Best Director. Alex Gibney has a massive reputation uh, as a documentary filmmaker. You can expect to be um, to meet a lot of ex-members who are, are simply sat there telling the truth about their own experiences, how they got involved, how they came to realize that it wasn't what quite what they were believed to uh Yes, it was. Um, it's 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 mind blowing in many many ways. I think the big question is how can these people be allowed to continue to to get away with this? And that is the key question. And um, I think he asks it at the end because in in America, Scientology has tax exempt status as a religious organization. Quite clearly, when you do your research, it's not it's it the religious side of things is just a cloak to mask the real aims of the organization, which is quite simple, making money. We alluded to the fact that this program documentary going clear was due to be aired previously. There was some suggestion that it may breach the libel laws. Wh where is that litigation now? And are you subject to threats when you appear on programs like this? Um, yeah, they try to quieten me, um, but, you know, th there's an ongoing court case regarding that, so I don't really want to say anything about that. Um, with regard to the libel laws in the North, in America, the film was shown all of last year and there were no attempts made by Scientology to sue. As my understanding of libel and defamation is quite simple, you have to be lying about about the subject of the, the libel and defamation. And if you're not lying, if you're telling the truth, then quite clearly uh, you haven't done anything wrong and you can't be sued. So fair play to Sky Atlantic for showing this documentary tonight. OK, we'll await the screening of it. Pete Griffiths, former member of the Church of Scientology, obviously a negative assertions to make about it. You can judge for yourself when you watch tonight's programme. Thank you for joining in studio.